So we have Alice, Bob, and Carol, and they are playing a game. Exciting. And each of them are choosing a real number between 0 and 1. Okay? The winner of the game is the one whose number is between the numbers chosen by the other two players. So if Alice chooses 0.1 and Bob chooses 0.5 and Carol chooses 0.3, Carol wins. Fantastic. Okay, so we know Alice announces that she will choose her number uniformly at random from all the numbers between 0 and 1. So every single equal sized interval between 0 and 1 has the same chance of containing the number that Alice picks, and Bob announces that he will choose the number at random between 1F and 2 thirds. So let's make sure we understand this. So we know Alice is going to pick her number uniformly between 0 and 1, and Bob is going to pick his number uniformly between 1 half and 2 thirds. Okay, let's go on. Armed with this information, oh, so Carol already knows about this information, pretty smart person, and what number should she choose to maximize her chance of winning? Well, to maximize her chance of winning, she wants to pick the expected value, she wants to pick the expected value of the number in between, number right in between A and B. So expected value of the arithmetic mean of the arithmetic mean between A and B because arithmetic mean is right between the two numbers. Arithmetic mean of A and B. Arithmetic mean of A and B. Because we're looking at the midpoint and the midpoint can be found using arithmetic mean. So how can we think how can we think about this? Well, let's say A is the number that Alice picks. So this is the number that she picks, and B is the number that Bob picks. So that's B Bob's number. So we know, we know this thing is expected value of A plus B over 2. That's how you find arithmetic mean. And you may know this, you may not. It's one of the first things that they teach you in statistics class. And it is that expected value is linear. Expected value is linear. What this means, I may make a video proving this in the future. Expected value of two things added together is equal to the sum of the expected individual values, and the expected value of some constant times a is equal to constant times the expected value of a. So knowing this, expected value is linear, we can simplify this very quickly. One half can come out to get us one half expected value of a plus b, or one half expected value of a plus expected value of b. And expected value is the value that you expect, the one, the weighted mean of the probability. So in this case, expected value of a is going to be the number right in between 0 and 1, or 1 half. Expected value of b is going to be the number right in between 1 half and 2 thirds, which is going to be 6 and we have 7 over 2, 7 over 12. So we simply have 1 half times 1 half plus 7 over 12, also known as 1 half times 13 over 12, or 13 over 24. So the number that we are looking at is B.